Whoa, caught me in the middle of my coffee break. Nice day today, sun shining. And believe me, have I got a project for you today. Today we're gonna to build this, again, out of scrap wood. So let's get started, eh? Okay, let's start by cutting two strips of plywood 12 inches long. These two pieces will be for the roof. Then to the cross cut sled over on the table saw and cut two pieces 10 inches wide. These are for the front and back walls. But watch your fingers here. Remember the sausages? Right, after cutting the walls into triangles, which being a thicko, I didn't remember to fill them. You then cut both triangles to the exact height that you require. There's more bloody sawdust in my gloves than there is on the floor. That's one of my shih tzus, honey, getting a look in. Using the thickness of a plywood as a guide, <clears throat> draw a line along the back edge of the roof. Then measure in three inches from the front edge. My eyesight's not too good here. It took me ages just to find the pencil mark that I made. Eyesight's getting worse. Colonel <coughs> Blink wouldn't be in it. I draw another line down here. And then again, using the plywood as a guide, draw another line. The front wall sits in while the back sits flush. You should now have two pieces marked out and set them together like bookends. Now get two pieces of wood that you're going to use for the frame and draw a line so that you know where to drill the holes. My policy has always been to pre-drill. It's a good habit to get into. It's been a long many years since I've worked this fast. I really should clamp this wood down, but it's just for speed. Now glue both pieces of wood to the walls on the lines that you have drawn. Remember, don't be tight with the glue and screw the framework to the roof. The screw head was sitting a wee bit proud there. Cut enough strips of wood that will adorn the entrance wall. Router the edges to make them look like logs. The next thing is to glue them to the wall. Cut out for doors and windows beforehand. The design is totally up to you. Now run a bead of glue along your framework and press the back wall into place. Pre-drill and screw the wall into place. Countersink the screws.
do the same with the other side. Next, fit the front wall the same way. Now cut a 45 degree angle along the length of a piece of wood. These are for dormer windows as you will see. Should have speeded this bit up. Where did that word come from? I should have said sped. Looking good. Bandsaw time now. Cut two strips of wood that will be glued to the front edge of the roof to hide the edge of the plywood. And here we are back to the table saw again. Cut a load of strips of wood about a quarter of an inch thick. Once again, redder the edges to give the impression of tongue and groove. Run some beads of construction adhesive over the roof and fit the strips. Just make sure to cut them out neatly around the dormice. The next thing to do is to make the base. Rip some plywood to your desired size. I cut these strips of wood to put along the edge of the base to protect the plywood. It also adds a nice finish to the front. That's it guys. I added things like a balcony, a dog kennel and a bit of felt, some logs. It's up to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.